Hey there Leo, welcome. This is your energy forecast for the week of 5th until the 12th of August. Let's get started with your messages. Who or what is coming towards you for this week? Starting with the present position. Leo, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this is Virgo energy, Venus. Something about abundance, independence, not necessarily like being single, but it's really showing someone who is changing up everything about themselves, you know, loving on themselves, unconditional love. So it could be someone on the outside that is approaching you or it could be you being in the state of glory. I see the tree of life there, someone who is connected to their ancestors connected to nature overall because as you go further into doing this you know having more within than without you inevitably connect to nature yeah you're part of nature so you could be showing up as part of nature here uh this is a yeah it's a good card that i love it also shows a journey of someone who has had to you know care for themselves new levels of self-love here Okay, talk about new levels. I, I saw the sun earlier. So there could be some new connections that you're getting to. A lot of new beginnings and it's Leo season. Four of Cups upright is someone who is disinterested in something. This is a Cancer card. Not really like, yeah. So you could be seen through motives here. Of someone's offer someone could be trying to come back in or you could have offers coming to you in this line of Pentacles energy you could have offers coming to you and you could be refusing or someone is bringing you or you could be taking an offer towards someone as well and they are not interested or this could have happened in the past and a situation like that is coming back around so this may have been a situation that has built you up to this level of the knight of nine of pentacles like it triggered this process for you in the past position five of cups wow five and four is nine i feel like you have done this work in the past position shows someone who has uh who is healing grieving you know a lot of release cleansing and talk about cleansing we have nine of pentacles so you've definitely been doing a lot of decluttering here and you're showing up in a different in a higher vibration i'm getting an aura here the solar plexus energy so there's a lot to do with your heightened confidence your heightened vibration so you're kind of taking a step back maybe situations where you would move in a certain way you are no longer doing that because you are so caught up in that regalia. Okay, the root area, six of wands. In the crown area, the hanged one or the hanged man. So this is recognition, victory. In the root area. And this is Leo energy. Something coming to light. So it feels like you are coming to light in an entirely different way this is someone who is enlightened you know they go upside down it's like you take a bag upside down and you shake it out even though the physical experience is different entirely right it's it's more than that but then it feels like this is how you're coming out you're coming out in this hanged this enlightened state so perhaps someone is witnessing you this way or a group of people they could be observing you. Perhaps these are the same people that observed you in this place or met you in this place and then now you have come here. I'm also getting maybe where you would involve or reach out. You're no longer doing that. Not in a negative way, but it's like you're no longer going out of your way. A lot of fears are being released. 
or you have released a lot of fears you know those uh, the FOMO or the fear of missing out all of that so this is that shift of perspective that someone could be having about you or I see the hanged man the hanged man is Pisces so there could be a Pisces in the picture I see all water signs energies this is Scorpio energy cancer energy the hanged man is Pisces so this is definitely connected to the shadows of the past okay in the near future ten of wands sagittarius energy so you could be putting in a lot of work here regarding ten and six is sixteen this could be you working really hard making sure to gather your harvest take it home of course, in the physical, that can look like really being in the masculine energy, putting in work to manifest something. While the Ten of Wands can show like someone carrying a lot of burden, sometimes for me personally, it can be that some work needs to be done and you're doing it while in this state of the Nine of Pentacles. So this is both feminine, masculine integration that i'm getting for you in the area of approach ten of pentacles so a group here could be approaching you you could also be approaching a group or even getting closer to your divine inheritance or you're here most times when we're manifesting we are here already so you are living in your wish fulfillment nine is here ten pentacles there could also be something about again about a group of people could be a congregation whether it's platonic um, familial or a workplace perhaps you're coming to some recognition about your work major recognition not some outside influences page of wands so this could be a delivery that is coming in or a messenger, a message or even a download that is coming in. This could be a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Hopes and fears, five of wands, Leo energy. Hopes and fears, in the area of hopes, this could be There could be some conflict going on here. One and five is six. Coming back to six one, connected to the subconscious, the root, because this is also happening with your healing, right? It's like while you are making resolutions, you know, coming to major recognitions, there is some conflict going on here. Now, the page of wands and five of wands is giving me like you are this messenger or there could be a young person here. We'll get more about this. For the outcome, page of swords. Page of Wands and Page of Swords. Now that came out for Aquarius as well. It's like you're being watched and people are having to see you differently. Perhaps there have been conflicts in the past with the same situations. Now with hopes and fears, you also could be in a place where you are with this ten of wands, you're putting together some some things for yourself. Ten and five fifteen. So there's something about the number six once again. It's like you are bringing together different ideas to work for you in the midst of all this, what I would call chaos, you are You're bringing together stuff for yourself. Feels like with all of this, you have people learning from you. 
so you may or yeah i would say continue to focus on what is working this is what i would say right now with the energy that i'm getting continue to focus on what is working and this is what you're doing it feels like you are having to go in shift perspective and then carry on with what you're doing five of cups at the bottom of the deck the world so perhaps even the world this is a major arcana number 21 perhaps there is grieving going around in the world as well No, perhaps there is a lot of grief going around in the world. So you are prepared for these times. It's like at a time when the world would have been quiet or going about their business, you were doing a lot of shadow work. And now it's to say coming around is one way but i feel like it's definitely happening in a way where you are calm in the midst of conflict flashback people from the past return you may work with a previous co-worker or take back an old job you get a second chance so i feel like beyond even the text here is about that flashback They may have refused your offer in the past and now they're coming back around. Or they may have looked down upon you. Courage, you're here. Ask what you are afraid of so you can overcome what's holding you back now. There are leadership opportunities for the taking. This is all about you. Moving up. You are increasing your power and status. You may get a promotion or move to a better home or office. You climb the ladder of success. Yeah, this is all about your climb. There is that tower. There's something about the tower. Your courage. Leo season. Also the conflict that is going on, the chaos. is like everything coming together. And here you are right in the heart of it even i feel it's your last week's reading that came with like your home your heart is beaming with courage and this is confirming this it's confirming the energy progress it seems like a long slog but your efforts will pay off soon stay on course for at least a few more months before making a change so I feel like if you're trying something here, you're being guided to carry on with this. Maybe it's changing strategy here and there, but you're guided to continue going. The Hanged Man. What is this about? Six of Pentacles. Six, six. A lot of harmony. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. What is underneath here? Ten of Wands. So there could be a Sagittarius in the picture as well. Or something connected to the ninth house of truth. There's a guardian angel working with you here as well. And they're wanting you to know that they're giving to you. Page of Swords. And they're watching over you. Death. Scorpio energy. I did get that with the other with this deck. Um, so this is a major transformation. Hmm. A major, major transformation. Connected to the new moon in Leo and then the 8 8 portal, the Lion's Gate portal. It's not happening only for you, it's like the world. I keep getting the world. You see the seven of swords energy as well. So there's something, perhaps is the position that you're in. You're, you're able to hold space for a lot right now. Not, be, not in an enabling way, but in a place where you could be able to, because we have different capacities, okay? 
So perhaps you're able to hold space. This is the truth and you, you're in a place where you can hold space for that, for the truth. I see the nine of pentacles, six of pentacles. Six of pentacles is... These are situations that definitely try to hold onto your energy, but then they made you feel like you were holding onto their energy. And then you build up your confidence. You kept building up yourself. There's a significance of these situations that somehow are coming around. They are needing some of... Uh, I'm hearing the good juju. <laughs> they are needing some of it. And you get to see what is worth your space. Like, is it given to you? Is there a balance? Or is it the same? That is where the Four of Cups is coming. It's like you're getting to see beyond motives or little calls, messages, you know, all of that stuff. Because the little things do matter right now. Wow, Leo. Uh, Nine of Pentacles again, confirming the energy, the overall energy for you. You could have connection with Virgo or it could also be connected with Mercury retrograde in Virgo, in the sign of Virgo. So Virgo is the sixth house and this is where we move from Leo, the fifth house, to more like to a balance between groups like intellect so a lot to do with groups here communication despondence you're releasing emotional ties or you have released them impasse sacral chakra so these are a lot of people who had who have yeah i feel like you have you have moved away from these energies. Despondence is third eye. So there's something about a blockage in the third eye chakra. You could be experiencing this at this time, but it's connected to this uh, shadows energies, uh, shadow energies of the past. Despondence. You have all the answers you need within. This card may indicate an emotional tie that no longer serves you. Remember, how you relate to the issue is the issue. Obstacles are removed when you change your relationship to them. By taking action, I found the road out. Iris teaches us that the only route out of stagnation is motion. If we do nothing, we must accept the consequences. Personal inquiry. In which part of my life am I feeling immobilized? I know what I need to do. Am I willing to trust myself? Revelation, movement, encouragement. Angels and ancestors. Peacekeeper, a harmonious resolution is possible. So this is the white buffalo calf woman. I see the six of pentacles as well. That is white buffalo calf woman. Temperance is a kind of white buffalo calf woman. So you may be embodying this deity, the white buffalo calf woman, the path of integrity. I feel like you're embodying the deity or someone in your energy. Shield maiden, make plans and focus. A lot of, a lot of our ancestors are coming back around with uh, Jupiter in Gemini. They're definitely amongst us. Peacekeeper. And we're able to embody these energies depending on the situation. I know I have channeled a lot of them recently. Um, well, on camera, but then I haven't posted it. Yes. Peacekeeper is 6 0 six six so a lot of harmony harmony for you here choose peace conflicts are coming to an end you deserve to experience happiness and contentment the peacekeeper 
the, the peacekeeper card portrays a Lakota First Nations woman honoring the Lakota deity White Buffalo Calf Woman who brought the sacred pipe to the people. This pipe, which she holds in her hands, is a symbol of peace, emblematic of surrendering the need to fight and offering harmony instead. The peacekeeper is a soul who knows what it's like to feel under threat and to stand up for what she believes in on and what is right. Her medicine helps you to take the higher road in every situation, even if you are under pressure to make a quick decision. It is a reminder that within your hands lies the power to make the right choice for all involved. You may be feeling on edge due to a stressful situation. There is a warrior within you that wants to rise up, prove your point and get the truth across. But you are being reminded by ancestor wisdom that truth will always be revealed in the end. It's more important at this time to avoid arguments or heated discussions where you know you will be fighting a losing battle. There is much more power in choosing to move forward from a higher perspective. This will allow you to connect deeply to the guidance within and the intuition that will lead you towards the healing of the whole situation, along with any wounds it may have inflicted on you. Choose peace. You know it's calling you. So I feel like this is what you're doing already. It feels like the hard road to take, but... You are right on track here. You are. Uh, I, I don't know what other word to use. You are on the pedestal. You are high up there. Yeah, you're already high up there. You are way above. It's like you have been prepared for this for quite some time. Let's get more about this five of wands. I forgot to get that. What is the five of wands? Two of cups. So this could be someone in a relationship that is going through this or there could be a past relationship. They're going through a lot of like conflicts right now. Could be more than one person. Okay, Leo, I wish you a blessed, mo uh, blessed month and a blessed week and I'll come back with more videos. Do take care and much love. Bye-bye.